President Putin has ordered Russian military commanders to put the country's strategic nuclear forces on special alert, their highest level. Speaking at the Kremlin, he said Western countries had taken unfriendly actions towards Russia, including what he called unlawful economic sanctions. And as we just had uh, in a statement from Ukraine's president, President Zelensky, he has said uh, that he has agreed to talks between Russia and Ukrainian delegations at the border with Belarus. Uh, that development in the last 20 minutes as well. Well, in terms of what is happening on the ground, uh, the Russian assault on Ukraine, that continues on several fronts. Officials say the second city of Kharkiv remains under Ukrainian control despite heavy street fighting. Russian infantry vehicles have been seen driving through residential areas and Ukrainian fighters have been clashing with Russian soldiers on foot. The situation is currently quieter in the capital, Kyiv, though smoke continues to billow from an oil depot that was blown up close to the city last night. Residents have been warned of the potential of toxic fumes. President Zelensky has accused Russian troops of deliberately bombarding civilian residential areas in what he called a brutal night of assaults. The UN Refugee Agency estimates that almost 400,000 people have fled Ukraine to escape the conflict. Angus Crawford has the very latest. Combat on the streets of a European city. Ukrainian soldiers using rocket propelled grenades in Kharkiv, in the northeast of the country. Putting up a fierce defense, but still the Russian forces come. Ukraine's president again addressed his people. Last night was brutal in Ukraine. Again, the shelling, again, the bombing of residential areas and civilian infrastructure. He rejected offers of peace talks in neighboring Belarus. And the killing goes on. Four people died in this building close to the Russian border. Homes are now targets. Apartment blocks in a northern suburb of Kyiv burn, hit by Russian fire as attacks continue across the country.